Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to the book of 1 Peter, chapter number 3, and we're going to look at verse number 18. The Bible says, For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins. I have met many people who uh, who were not sure if you know they were saved, and uh, some even thought maybe they can lose their salvation. You know, once you get saved, and then you you mess up again, and then you have to get saved again. Um, I assure you that that is entirely impossible. The moment you lose your salvation, Jesus would have to come down and die on the cross for you again. That's the only way to get back your salvation, uh, which is why it is is absolutely ridiculous to to think and, and unscriptural and unbiblical to think that you can lose your salvation. You cannot because number one, it's not something that we got ourselves anyway. It's not something that we we were able to obtain uh, on our own somehow or something that, you know, some achievement that we accomplished. No, it was freely given to us by not only the power of God, but by the action of God. And that, that action was the cross. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ paid for our sin. And you know how many times he had to die? Once. That's all that he needed to do. That's all that was needed to pay for our sins. Past, present, and future. And it says here, For Christ also hath once suffered for sins. One time. That's all it takes. That, and, and the one time that he died for our sins, the just for the unjust. Look at that. Why? That he might bring us to God. Very, very careful wording here. That he, Jesus Christ, might bring us to God because of his action on the cross. Because of what he did on the cross, suffering for our sins on the cross, dying, shedding his blood, breaking his body, being just, he did it for us, the unjust. And that one action, one time, one action, almost 2,000 years ago, has now empowered Jesus Christ to be able to bring us to God. Notice, we did not bring ourselves. We did not, like, it's not like Jesus opened the gate and we can now walk to God and walk. No, he has to bring us that is what the power of the cross and, and the resurrection did, okay? It enabled Christ to save us. So once again, it is nothing of our own power, all right? We did not bring ourselves to God. We did not earn anything. We did not achieve anything. We didn't do anything, not one single work. He did it all. And because he did it all, and it was his action that, that accomplished what needed to be done, paying for our sins, the just for the unjust, he's the just one, then he has the power to bring us. He, that's the only way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And here is, is, is uh, more backup for that verse here in 1 Peter 3.18. Jesus, or the, the Bible says, that Jesus is the only one that can bring us to God. It is solely upon his power. And so how can you lose something that you never obtained on your own to begin with? It is, it is only through God that we, that we obtain salvation. And it is only through God that it could ever be taken away. And there is no mention of, the, of, of it ever being able to be taken away of Jesus having to come and die on the cross for us again. But there are several instances where 
like this one, one time was enough and we have eternal life. Eter what does eternal mean? Right? Eternal is forever. The moment it stops, it's no longer eternal. And the moment it is no longer eternal, then that makes God a liar. And so one time is sufficient to empower Christ to bring us to God, uh, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. And so don't, don't let the devil convince you that somehow you have to uh, uh, you know, maintain your salvation. You can't. It's impossible because salvation has nothing to do with you. It is Christ that saves us. It is Christ that died for us, did the work, and is now bringing us to God, to himself. It is only through Christ. He did it all, and he continues to do it all. All we have to do is just say yes, accept it, you know, accept the gift. And I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.